Oops, Jen here. Okay, so today what I want to talk to you about is cleaning cloudy water or green water with a flocculant. Okay, now a flocculant is spelled F-L-O-C-C-U-L-A-N-T, I believe. A flocculant is basically going to take any of the um, suspended matter in the water and it's going to filter it out. So it makes it all clump together and then it falls to the bottom. So basically you're not going to find anything that says this is a flocculant use this to clean your pond. You'll get something that says like water clarifier, pond clarifier, etc. That's fine. Just read the back of the label so you want to make sure that it says something along the lines of take suspended matter in the water and makes it clump together and fall to the bottom so it can be filtered out. This is a flocculant. I don't care what it is that you're looking at, this is a flocculant. It also will say something along the lines of do not unplug anything in your pond. Make sure that you have air circulating in your pond. Make sure that everything is moving in your pond. If you turn the water off and you have fish, they will basically probably die because what it's doing is it's taking the oxygen out of the pond, which is putting all of your suspended plant, uh, suspended matter together and making it fall to the bottom. My favorite all time that was on the market was Acurel, A-C-U-R-E-L. It turned your pond a completely horrid rust shade. I mean, we're talking like the color of my walls, right? It turned it that color. You completely freak out for about five minutes, and then all of a sudden it's crystal clear. I loved it. Another one that I like to use is AccuClear, A-C-C-U-C-L-E-A-R. Um, there are other ones on the market right now, but I'm not, I'm not finding quite what I used to really, really love. And I wanted to tell you guys what it was that I loved. So if you can find it, it works great. Um, you do have to like not panic about the rust colored. So if you do the Acurel, um, <clears throat> When you put the stuff into the pond, sometimes it'll tell you that you need to mix it in a bucket of water. Make sure that you really pour it around the perimeter of the pond. It will turn cloudy. If it is turning cloudy, like a milk color or um, with the Acurel, a rust color, it's working. It is starting to clump the stuff together. You're doing great. That's exactly what you want to do. If it's not looking like anything, it's not really working. Okay, so look for a flocculant, okay? Look for um, Acurel or AccuClear if it's even still on the market. I don't even know. Um, but anything that says it clumps suspended matter together, make sure you agitate the water a lot, like lots and lots. So you have your pump going full force. If you have like a cool little fountain on it, take the end off and just have it just straight jet, okay? Um, you want as many bubbles as possible. You can put a bubbler on it. You want as much oxygen going around as possible. Um, sometimes I'll even stand with the hose and just spray the hose straight into the water, just adding as many bubbles as possible, and that'll usually help clear it out. Okay, so I hope that's fixing some of the cloudy water issues that we're having this summer. Um, it's not too terribly hot here in Ohio this year, which is wonderful. You are going to notice um, come fall, a lot of the green cloudy water that people are seeing will start to disappear because it turns clear, which is because it gets colder and so the green isn't going to affect as much. So when it starts to get colder, the pond starts to basically shut down for the winter and you might see some clear water just on its own when it's getting a little colder. Okay, so check back, let me know if you have any questions and I can um, respond to those directly via another video and happy ponding.